consider um, uniformity with uh, the recent road standards um, concerning the 24 foot width. I, I still think that there is a, a um, uh, an underlying safety issue with with um, keeping a slightly wider uh, road surface once you get into a, um, a dead end road a certain distance. Whether it's a thousand feet or 950, I don't, I don't know, but there's um, just this underlying concern uh, of needing a little extra space. I have a motion for the board to consider. I, before that, Steve, I just have a, a couple of comments. Um, this ordinance is going to be scrutinized very closely, and it's going to be used by uh, uh, applicants. And I think it's very, very important that the definitions be as clear as possible. And I hate getting to this level of uh, discussion, but I, it sooner or later will come back at us. Under the definition of dead-end road, it's a road with a single common means of ingress and egress. Uh, under the defini definition of through road, a road with more than one means of ingress or egress. Uh, there's an option there. Uh, both means of ingress and e egress must, and again the term and, must at a minimum meet the standard of access roads. Um, it's not clear to me whether the or should be an and in the first instance. I did spend some time talking with the town attorney about this, and I do remember we discussed and and or, and the ands and ors are deliberately placed where they are. Okay. Uh, as I re and I have to admit, um, let's just say that the and in the dead end road was was. Uh, was a decision that was made because if you had or then there was a possibility this could be interpreted other than what it was intended to be interpreted. Okay then, under uh, the definition, definition through road uh, with more than one means of ingress or egress, I hate again to use this but uh, there's a possibility that we'd have a, an occasion in town where we'd have a one-way road which would be a through road which would have not more than one means of ingress or egress would have one way in and one way out. But it's the or is you can pick either one. Again, if it were a one-way condition, it would have only one of each. Uh, admittedly, there's not a, a lot of ch chance of that, but if an applicant were to put in a, a horseshoe that uh, were to be a one-way loop for whatever reason, uh, does anyone else? Uh, again, I think all we need to do is, is make sure that Maureen, uh, we can take action on this and then just have Maureen check with the town attorney and say, you know, does that pose a problem? You know, if there's a regulation on the road, um, does that, does that um, I think that's, counter the I think that's an excellent suggestion. Okay. okay. Someone wants to uh, offer an motion? I have a motion for the board to consider. It ordered that based on the draft text and the facts presented, the proposed dead end road amendments to the subdivision ordinance be recommended to the town council for consideration. Do I hear a second? <clears throat> One question before I, are, are we going to ask them to consider a narrower pavement width or aren't we as a board? I'd be willing to amend the motion <clears throat> to state with uh, the, that uh, um, that this recommendation be accompanied with a uh, note from the town planner requesting that the town council give consideration to uh, the width of the road um, as it pertains to being consistent with our existing road standards. So, Great. <clears throat> okay, I'll, I'll amend my motion to state that. Okay, I'll second the amended okay. motion. Uh, moved and seconded. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't uh, point. Uh, Roy was appointed the voting member. Peter, did we have uh, Roy? Why don't you continue to vote, and uh, we'll have the vote one more time. All those in favor? All opposed? Unanimous. Uh, the second issue to discuss is whether or not we want to uh, hold a public hearing. Okay. I suppose it could be uh, presumed that we don't because we motioned to forward this to the uh, town council. Thank you. 
under uh, new business. The last uh, item is the town manager's letter uh, with respect to. Maureen, would you give us some background on this, please? <laughs> I would. <laughs> I, I would if you'd like. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, this is a lot that's uh, on Ocean House Road in the area popularly known as the Strip. And the town owns a, a lot there. The gentleman who uh, owns an abutting lot would like to buy a small piece of this lot. Uh, this lot is adjacent to uh, another lot that was just uh, given to the land trust uh, by a couple of uh, property owners. Uh, the town just accepted some conservation easements on that adjacent lot. When that was presented, it was with the understanding that one of the reasons the town was interested in obtaining those conservation lots was the fact that we did own the adjacent lot and it, it created a, a nice uh, combined wooded area. Uh, I have received a recommendation from the Conservation Commission on this particular issue and they recommend that the property not be sold, that it be retained by the town. Thank you. Uh, I think then uh, since the town manager is looking for an opinion from the planning board, if uh, anyone would like to add to the discussion. Mr. Retzel? I'd ask, did, they give, did the Conservation Com Commission give uh, um, some reason for their recommendation? The reasons I just cited, the, the fact that the town does own uh, the adjacent, the, the fact that town, you have the town lot and then you have the land trust lot uh, upon which the town does possess conservation easements. They feel that it ought to be retained as conservation space. Uh, can I ask a question on the... Um, Mr. Parkers. The plan we received, <clears throat> um, I believe the lot that was highlighted in purple or whatever color yours may have been done in, which portion of that lot is, is he kind of playing trying to buy? I think that's the owner's lot that shows there in the... Is the town lot 13A that, that they are looking to purchase part? We own 13 in 13A. The land trust now owns 15A. The gentleman owns 11A and would like to purchase a third of an acre, I believe it was, of 13A. Along, along is the common boundary. <clears throat> Thank you. Any comments, Mr. Parkhurst? Um, I don't know. I, I, I guess when I face with something without a person attached to it, um, I always feel uncomfortable. Should read the letter. Uh, it looks like to me he's just looking for another building lot, and I don't think the town should be in the business of um, of doing that. If there was a real, honest to goodness request for someone to build a home because they had to live in that particular location, I'd feel a little differently. But it seems like he's just trying to get some square footage to round out another lot. Anybody else have an opinion? I would say in all honesty, I read this, I read, I read the memo and in my mind it said no, and then I said let's look at it. Um, you know, why, why does the town want to sell uh, a portion of property where in the, um, current, you know, we have been in the, in the phase of trying to obtain uh, land or easements. Um, this is a stretch of road where we're trying to deter uh, more direct access. Uh, you know, I certainly would not want to see another driveway coming directly on there. I mean, there's the issue of shared driveway, but um, I, I guess it would be my opinion that the, um, the town should not sell the lot. Roy, has the owner gone through any zoning about a variance? Is that, is that, that's not, no. Mike? I don't think the gentleman has looked at a variance. Generally, variances aren't granted for the purposes of creating substandard size mm -hmm. lots. I, w I would like to make clear, too, in response to another comment, is the town has not proposed selling this lot. We, we merely got a letter from a, a citizen, and uh, with all of these type of requests that we get, we, we refer them, uh, run them to, we run them through the process. <coughs> this is running it through the process. And, uh, you know, whatever comments you make and come from the others the letter was solicited to will go to the town council and then the town council will make a judgment as to uh, 
whether or not it uh, ought to put the property out for bid. Mr. Edsel. I have a, uh, a motion for the board to consider. Before the motion, can I express an opinion? Sure. I'm not supposed to. Sure. Uh, I first of all, I'd like to thank the town manager for bringing this before the board. I know that this lengthens the process and, and makes it more difficult for the abutter in terms of having to wait. Uh, but it does include all of the boards that are involved. And, and uh, this is one item that had one as a planning board member just driven down 77, all of a sudden seen another house lot go up uh, and not understanding that the town had committed uh, town land uh, to see that happen uh, would have been somewhat distressing to me. Uh, this is the gateway to the town center. And uh, I guess is here only because of courtesy of the Department of Transportation. This is our expressway out to the beaches, so to speak, and is in an area of town which is currently zoned at 50 miles an hour. And I was quite surprised to see the number of houses and curb cuts that, that popped up along what would otherwise be a very limited access highway with that speed limit. Uh, so I don't, if there were any other unusual circumstances here that there was uh, uh, perhaps the land, the town wasn't owned by the land, the land trust wasn't involved, and the Conservation Commission hadn't recommended against selling the land, I might consider otherwise. It's, I think as Mr. Parker has said earlier, it's too easy to dismiss something when you're not looking at the uh, other party uh, in the, across the table or, or in the eye to discuss the issue. It makes it very impersonal, but perhaps in this case that works to our advantage, uh, simply that this is an area that the town has an interest in. The town, one of the most important parts of gaining uh, scenic roads and uh, limited access is, is to have the town have some control within the right-of-way, and I think this is a wonderful opportunity. As you can see from the map, it's a possible link between uh, at some point Fowler Road or other uh, green spaces over to Old Ocean House Road. Uh, and all, with all due respect um, to the person who, who needs this one-third acre and, and could be getting an additional house lot, I think the greater benefit to the entire community would be not to uh, uh, sell the land. So with that, I'll uh, entertain a motion. I have a motion for the board to consider. Be it ordered that based on the facts presented, that the planning board recommend to the town manager that um, the town not sell any portion of lot R2 13A. I have a motion. Do I have a second? <clears throat> second. Any comments? First and seconded. All those in favor? Raise your right hand. All opposed? Passes unanimously. Thank you. Okay. Uh, that uh, wraps up this evening's meeting. Is there any other discussion? Hear a motion for adjournment? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Thank you. Thank you.